All right, guys, welcome to another tutorial. And in this video, it's actually a pretty important one because I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add sprites to your game. Now, what is a sprite? Like I said, not the soda. A sprite in a computer game is anything that's animated. So you guys might be thinking, okay, so sprites are like the player that runs around and also the enemies who try to attack you. And you're right, but sprites are also some of the things that you probably might not think about um, generally when you think about things that are animated or things that move. For example, you know whenever you're playing Super Mario Brothers and you hit one of those blocks with your head? Well, even though the block didn't like run around, it did explode. So that's an animation, so that block would be a sprite. And also, like Sonic the Hedgehog, whenever you're collecting coins, well, even though those coins kind of, you think of them as staying in one place, whenever you run into them, they disappear. So going from, you know, just being visible to invisible, that's also animation. So that's a sprite as well. So basically, like 95% of the crap in your computer game is probably going to be a sprite. So just remember that whenever you're thinking, do I add this as a sprite or not? You probably do. So how do we add them? Well, just like the texture, double click anywhere on the layer. And again, make sure that you're on this main layer, not the background, the active layer. Double click. And from here, scroll down until you see Sprite. Pretty awesome uh, icon if you ask me. But double click this or you can just click it and hit insert. And now just like the texture, we get these little crosshairs basically saying where do you want your Sprite to be? Well, for right now, we'll just go ahead and click, click anywhere. It doesn't really matter. And now, just like before, we have to say, okay, that's where you want your Sprite to be, but what image do you want to use for the sprite well again let's just go ahead and load one and the first one we'll do is the player of course our main character and hit open and then we can just close that out and as you can see now we can deselect it our player appears right there so that's kind of a long process for adding a spray especially since a bunch of crap in your game is going to be a spray itself so I want to show you guys another cool, um, kind of easier way to add sprites, and that's this. If you actually go to your Windows Explorer and find your sprites, all of mine are in this folder called Game. What you can do is you can actually just drag them from your uh, Windows Explorer and drop them right there. And whenever you drop them, they automatically convert that image to a sprite. So again, you can only do these with sprites because... Well, that's how the games, or excuse me, that's how the software is set up. So take all of these images and drag them one by one. And that's another thing I want to mention. You have to drag them one by one because if you just grab them all like this and drag them all at the same time, then it's going to make it a single sprite with different animation frames, which means the bullet's going to turn into a bomb, it's going to turn into a monster. No. Pretty much just make sure that you drag them one by one because they're each of their uh, pretty much they're independent of one another so that was a lot faster and that's the way that I prefer to add a sprite so now the only other thing that I want to do in this tutorial is this if you click all of these you can see the names for them and that's this this one is named sprite and I should probably mention that if I go to my computer on the desktop in the game whenever you add it in the first way like I added that player then it's gonna give it a default name of sprite and if you add in another one that way it's gonna give it sprite 1, sprite 2, sprite 3 whenever you drag them from your uh, Windows Explorer it's gonna give it the base name of the file which is monster explode bullet so what I wanna do right now is I wanna rename this one since it renamed them sprite by default I just want to rename them player and I'll, of course to do that just click it and on the properties panel right here you can change the name in the name attribute and I actually want to change these all to capital letters just so you know convention so I'm going to name this to explosion I'm going to name this to monster with a capital M and name this to bullet and also that bullet is kind of hard to see so I'm gonna go ahead and place it right by the gun so then you know I'm not looking all around for it trying to find it so now that you got all your sprites loaded in 
and you got everything where they want to be named properly you can go ahead and click run and wow this game is awful all I see is a bunch of characters not moving around not trying to kill each other what the heck is the fun in that so in the next tutorial we're gonna well I'm gonna show you guys how to make something called behaviors it's really cool thank you guys for watching and uh, well I'll see you then